Hi, I'm Sean Hellman. This is a little video on how much pressure I use when sharpening my knives. I've never actually tested or measured the amount of pressure I put when I'm honing the knives or other tools. And I've just said to all my students over the years, just use a lot of pressure, just push down hard. So I decided to measure it. And we're looking at Oh, what that, uh, four to six, seven kilograms pressure. This is a Scandi ground knife, so it's got one big flat bevel that's about eight mil wide. The wider your bevel, the more pressure you've, you've got to put. So putting this much pressure, what's that, six, five, four... Uh, kilograms through the knife and through my fingers and through my hands is actually quite tiring and you do need to take a rest every now and again just shake your wrists out shake your hands out stretch your fingers shake your hands out and get back to it if I was just to use, let's say, a kilogram or two kilograms, I would actually be here for days taking metal off. You do, we do need pressure onto your abrasive to remove metal. If I was using a kitchen knife, the bevel may only be a millimeter, two millimeters, or possibly three. It may be com slightly convex at the very edge, and uh, even so, the the um, the width of the bevel is still very, very narrow. So I probably wouldn't be using quite so much pressure when I'm using dirty grinding secondary or honing secondary bevels onto the edge. Uh, that's coming on nicely. This is a 300 grit diamond stone, which I use meths with. I like the way the meths evaporates off quickly. Oil will need to be wiped off and oil can get all over the place. Whichever method you use, whether you use it dry, with oil, with special diamond honing uh, liquids or methylated spirits, it's messy. Okay, that's coming on nicely, just missing off on the tip there. You see, I'm not using quite so much pressure on, on the tip. I don't want to snap the tip, which is it's quite easy, it's possible to do. And I'm not using so much pressure because it is so narrow. Okay, for the American viewers, I'm just going to change the mode and go over to pounds. There we go, pounds. Okay, let's squirt a little bit more meths on and go for it. So what's that, uh, 10, 10, 11, 12 pounds. This isn't an ideal setup. You can see how this stone is rocking all over the place because I'm doing it on a weighing scale. But I've got good, because I'm using so much pressure and I've got good contact, I'm still keeping this bevel nice and flat and I'm using the same sort of pressure on this side as well. Okay, back to kilograms. Again here you can see when I'm lifting the handle of the knife up and coming to the tip here, I'm, rela I'm not using so much pressure. I'm relaxing my hand a little bit so I'm not pushing down quite so hard right here's my strop 
and I use a compound, a solid compound. This is a final finish compound. It's not the finest you can get, but it is, I think, uh, the best value for money and the best compromise. Uh, let's do tear. So everything starts at naught. Okay, and let's press down again. And what sort of pressure I'm using? Seven, eight, six, three at the end. So I'm actually using a lot of pressure when I'm going through the strop. Again, if this was a narrower bevel, I really wouldn't be putting so much pressure on. And again, you can see that I'm relaxing, not putting so much pressure onto the tip. And as I finish a stropping, I am putting less pressure in. So the last few strokes, Last few strokes are quite gentle. That's sharp, that's sharp, that's sharp. Ah, it's still still blunt up there. Oh, I can feel that. That really isn't quite so... Oh, oh. Little, little serrations in the edge there. I really didn't concentrate very much up here when I was uh, sharpening the knife. So, let's see. Well, that's, that's sharp enough. That's not a problem. And up at the end, no, that's not sharp there. Anyway, doesn't doesn't matter for what I'm doing. I'm using the tip of this blade most of the time anyway.